Good morning. Welcome to Yellow Door Urban Homestead. I am Asia and I'm an urban gardener growing in a small space out in my backyard. So someone said something to me the other day. They left a comment, which I did see. I have not responded to because life has been busy. But someone left a comment because I said in my last video that like I don't feel like I have any informational things to give right now. Like not a lot enough to be making two videos a week because you know it is the winter time. It is cold. And they said everything doesn't have to be informational. It can just be fun. Something they said to that effect. So I thank that person for the comment because what we're going to do today is I'm literally just gonna show you everything that's going on around the homestead. I'm gonna show you the hydroponics and give you an update on that. I'm gonna show you the quail that's downstairs, give you an update on that. Um, the seedlings that we've started, and we're even gonna go outside because I saw something this morning and I was so surprised. I was like, oh my goodness, that worked out. So we're also gonna go outside right now though. I'm gonna have some breakfast real quick and then we'll get this video started. I know y'all sometimes probably wonder, I wonder if she uses that stuff after she shows it to us in the video. I absolutely do. <laughs> so that is the quail egg peeler that we got from Vivor a little while ago. And so I'm making quail eggs this morning and I don't want to fight to take the peeling off. Like on a Monday or a Tuesday when I'm getting ready to work, probably not pulling this out. But on the weekends, I absolutely use it. Yes, it's only five eggs and yes, I'm going to use it. It makes my life easier. <laughs> While we wait for those quail eggs and then I'm just going to have some yogurt, no meat, I have somewhere to go. So <laughs> I just wanna make sure that I have eaten uh, some breakfast before I head there. But I want to show you the things and give you updates on the things that's going on in the kitchen because we all know I live in a small space and so I do a lot of things in my kitchen and in my laundry room that I'm not doing outside. But I'm going to show you guys we are on day four of the quail eggs that are in the incubator. So tomorrow we are going to go in lockdown. Lockdown means I take out the turner, this little white thing, that's the turner. So it turns the eggs. Um, this is where I put the water in so that I can get my humidity where it needs to be. It's it's uh, glitching a little bit because of the camera. Um, and that's the temperature, that's the humidity, which that humidity is a bit high, but I'm boiling eggs, which is making the temperature in the room go up. Um, and so tomorrow I will take this out. I will fill it with water. Fill this side with water, remove the egg turner, let them sit on the gray thing. And someone left me a message and said, and it may have been over on Instagram, that someone told them to like put a tea towel down so that the quail's feet don't get stuck in the gray uh, holes. So I'm gonna do that and see how that works. I've only had one hatching where there were like, uh, what is it called, spray leg. But apparently, if you take that out, put a tea towel down, it could help. So I'm gonna do that. But yeah, it's about time. And so we'll put it in lockdown. We'll raise the humidity tomorrow. And then we'll wait to see how many quail we get out of this hatching. The other thing that you just saw is we have quail eggs out the wazoo <laughs> at this point. Like there's quail eggs everywhere. There's three dozens of chicken eggs back here. And so I started putting them into these uh, containers. Well, cartons. I've started putting the eggs in the cartons for one because my mom will come and pick them up at any time, you know, and so they'll already be set up for her. But it also will allow me to keep the eggs down on the pointed end because I hear it helps with like bacteria maybe transferring into the egg. That's what I read somewhere. So I put them pointy down. Same thing with the quail eggs. They are pointy down, but also now that these ones are getting closer to time to hatch, I'm going to start writing the dates on the next set again um, because I'm going to hatch again. <laughs> We're absolutely keeping the quail thing going because my uncles are the ones that um, even mention quail to me. And then I started looking it up. But I have two uncles and they don't live here, but they visit like every year. And so when they come, I want to be able to give them some quail meat. But I also want to have quail meat for us because my son, my son loves quail more than he loves chicken. So listen, we want to make sure we can have that 
that here and it'll be something that I grew and I can and it's just it's sustainable for my area and my space that I have so um, that's my next thing and then I have one more of these because I had gotten quail eggs from Publix a while ago so I have two of those but I am thinking about just ordering some off of Amazon that's where I got these from um, the egg crates and there's more up there and so my mother when she comes to get them she'll take them but she brings them back also sustainable. I don't have to keep buying egg cards. <laughs> I forgot to grab the thing that's supposed to catch those shells, but it's okay. I'll just go ahead and put it in the um, in a bag because it's going to go outside into the compost pile, which also is not doing well. <laughs> okay, so I just use a bag, put my stuff in it, and then eventually it'll all make it outside. We will clean this a little bit lighter. But right now, we're gonna have us some quail eggs and some yogurt. I like to put a little bit of the popcorn seasoning on this. I know people have probably been watching me do that. I forgot my granola. Um, and I'm like, what is she using? But yeah, I like to do that. So a couple of people have asked me, or a few people, more than a couple, why quail? Why quail? Well, for me, because I don't have space. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a lot of space. I wanted a meat source on my um, homestead. I had looked into rabbits, uh, however. I saw that rabbits scream when they're called. However, um, recently I've been watching videos, and if you do it right, they have one bad day. Um, over on Teal Homestead, she says it all the time. I think that's what it's called, Teal Homestead. She says they only have one bad day. Um, and I watched her uh, do a calling of rabbits and it maybe is not what I think. However, it does look like you have to have a bit more space for rabbits than quail. So for me, why did I choose quail? I chose quail because in my locality, I can only have six chickens. I'm only supposed to have six chickens. I have seven, I'm one over. Um, because I, in case something happened to one chick, I wanted to make sure that I still had six chicks and now I have seven. They are not a problem. So I cannot have meat birds because, um, you know, meat birds take some time to grow out. And I also want eggs. So I went with quail because it's a meat source. They are small. They do not take up a lot of area. They don't eat a lot. Um, and it doesn't take a lot to take care of them. And so that's why I chose quail. I have quail in my laundry room, which I will show you before this video ends. Um, I have quail outside in a, in a small animal hutch and they are fine they don't need a lot of space and then i've had people say why do you like quail eggs more than you like chicken eggs i'm not a lover of yolk and so you can get this tiny egg with a tiny yolk and then you don't taste all the yolk <laughs> you do taste yolk but it does not taste like overly yolky i also think they have a milder taste that's just my opinion. I rarely eat a chicken egg when I have quail eggs in production. Okay, done with breakfast. Uh, update on the hydroponics growing systems. Um, I love them. I'm, I'm not even gonna, like, I really love having them in the house during the winter months because it's allowing me to grow, see growth during the winter without being outside in the cold. <laughs> So if you see, we have our first slicer tomato growing in the larger let pot, uh, the let pot max. This is the one we got this year. We set up and decided to do two um, growing stations instead of using the 21. And I absolutely love it. Like I'm loving, I'm trying to get it to turn on, that we have this going on here. The water is empty down there. I need to fill it up. Um, and so, yeah, I'm loving that. And then have a nice flower coming right there. So that should be one more tomato. Um, this one got started later because we had to replant, but it's getting up there too. And we should have more tomatoes growing. Now the smaller let pot that we have had for two years now does have tomatoes growing on it, but everything in here is stunted. And I'm gonna tell you why everything in here is stunted. I didn't have the uh, fertilizer that they send with the actual hydroponics growing system. And so I tried something else. I tried this. A company uh, gifted it to me a while ago. Hope y'all can see that. 
probably not but anyway <laughs> and i only have two hands so um it is petra tools all in one uh for organic production plant fuel it's a two 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 but for whatever reason or my own mistake uh, I think it was too much fertilizer and so the roots of those plants do not look good I would show you except again I only have two hands <laughs> but the roots of the plants don't look amazing they are stunted still trying to produce I've eaten the lettuce it tastes delicious uh, the cilantro died <laughs> and the actually the the sunflower is looking really good in there so um, that's the let pot systems and I'm excited. Uh, that is a baker's rack that, oh, oh, yes, it's still beeping. And the beeping, when you have what you need is not a bad thing because it will tell that that beeping is basically saying you need more water or you need more fertilizer. I'm just letting it do what it do right now. <laughs> It's about to be time for spring and all of that coming up anyway. And so I'm just letting it do what it do. We'll have lettuce to eat. Those tomatoes are trying to give us some tomatoes. So I'm just going to let that hang out over there because eventually I'm not going to be able to take care of them. Like I'm not going to have enough time because February is going to be my month to start like starting things. Also, I need to get my ginger started and I also need to get my sweet potatoes started. So we'll be doing that sometime this week or next week. All right, so now we're going to go and see what's going on in the laundry room, which is absolutely a space. Oh, did y'all hear that? That's a male quail. People always ask me, how loud are quail? Um, are they like loud? Would it disturb my life? I don't know. It's your life. <laughs> but that was the sound. Perfect timing, buddy. That is perfect timing. So that is... Uh, that's the sound of a male quail. We have a door that shuts them off from the house. And so with that being said, we don't hear it a lot. It doesn't disturb us. So, um, but perfect timing from that guy. <laughs> we also have button quail in here. They're my daughters. I got them in my search for quail to hatch. And uh, they are only useful for pretty and cuteness. <laughs> They're not going to be a sustainable source. So if you are looking into getting quail, do not get button quail. They are not going to be a meat source for you. Okay. So right here, they don't like fast movement and loud noises. I, I, I moved a little fast that time. Um, this is where we're raising the quail. We cleaned this out yesterday. Um, it does get smelly down here if I don't clean it and I don't add more bedding on it like I'm supposed to. But I normally do pretty well with that. Um, and so there's seven in here. There are four female and three males. Um, and so originally, there he goes again. Originally, I was I was going to call them. Some of them were small. So I said, I'm going to leave them. And then once they get bigger, then I will call them. Uh, and then I decided I was going to keep them. <laughs> and it's been a great idea. The egg production down here is amazing. I'm getting three to four eggs a day, um, which is going to help me keep my flocks covies. They're called covies, which is going to help me keep my covies going. Um, and so they they definitely are laying well, no issues with them. Um, and we, you know, they're very easy to take care of, but that's what's going on down here. They're just in a tote with some chicken wire over it so that they don't jump out. But they are really, they're good to go. We love having them in here. Um, I'll take one out so you can see it. And people say, you know, like, why are you doing quail? They're so small. They're good eating. They're good eating. And they're fun to, to raise. They don't take up a lot of space, like I said earlier. And so we enjoy them. Um, I'll take one out for you to see it. Very feisty little things. But they don't just love being held and things like that. So we don't do this often. I just wanted to show you. And I think their, their feathers and stuff are so pretty. I think they're so pretty. The memory card filled up. <laughs> I would turn these lights off over the plants and then when I get ready to show you, I'll turn them back on. But anyway, very feisty, but very fun to have. And so that is the meat source that I chose so that I can have chicken eggs and also have a meat source. Um, so yeah, they're just down here. It was very loud and they didn't like it. Um, and I feed them every day. I come down here and I give them water every day. Much easier than the ones outside at this point because it's cold outside. 
<laughs> but I go outside and take care of them too. The girl that I just picked up, she looks like she's this big. So like a coping mechanism or survival mechanism. I'm not really sure what you call it. Um, you know, like a chameleon changes colors and things like that. She, they, they can blow up and look this large because they can make their feathers like poof out. She looks this big <laughs> and she's definitely not that big. They're so cool, y'all. I think they're so cool. All right, let me show you the plants. I got to plug them back in that we started to gather a few, uh, probably last week, week before last. I don't know. Anyway, there they are. We have the leeks. These are the um, tree collards that we started to gather. This is cilantro in a kale. And this is all kale as well. Everything looks like it needs to be watered. Um, these are shop lights that I got from Walmart. These are LED bulbs, uh, 15 lumen LED bulbs. And that's how I grow um, all of my starts. And this is how I do it for summer as well. And then over here, whew, definitely need to be watered, um, are the onions. They're trying. <laughs> they are drying, but uh, the seeds might have been a little bit old. I know they were from last year, but it's all set up. The same way um, this is where I grow I add more lights and then these tray these whole shells will be filled with trays um, these loofah like this one needs to go in the compost pile because it is molding um, and like I told you that this one is still drying it's still kind of mushy you see that um, and then this one is probably ready you can hear the seeds I keep my plastic that I use to start these because I'll just use it again. And then we have all these sweet potatoes because I keep forgetting that the sweet potatoes are down here. I use some for Thanksgiving, but we absolutely need to use those. So that's what's going on in the laundry room over here on Yellow Door Urban Homestead. We're going to go outside. I have somewhere to go, but I wanted to get the inside stuff done. And then we're going to go outside when I get back. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. So I am back and not only is it dark outside because what I did took a little longer than I expected, um, but I had fun. It's not only is it dark outside, but it started raining a long time ago. So we still weren't going to make it outside. Anyway, hopefully our next video will be outside. It's been so nice here, but I haven't had time to use the day. Um, anyway, it was not nice today. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like share subscribe don't forget to visit me over on instagram where i post about the things going on in the garden almost every day bye y'all